Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another What to Eat on WW Personal Plan Points. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick recap. Before that, I got a new tripod. I'm trying it out. I don't know if I like it. You can see the ring light in my glasses. I don't know if that's gonna bug me, but it might help with my lighting issue when I'm filming. Um, I like the way that it's like lighting me up right now because I would be really dark. It's kind of weird that it's not like, it's still dark over there, but it's gonna, I'm gonna have to get used to it. We'll see how I like it. I might get like a bigger light ring. But anyways, I wanted to come on here and kind of fill you guys in. Um, not last week's weigh in. So I weighed on Thursday. So last Thursday I weighed in, but the previous weigh in to that, the previous Thursday, um, I had a really good week and I only, no, I gained 0.2 and it really frustrated me um, because I was doing really well. Um, so then last week, I didn't do very well. Um, we had two Christmas dinners, like one at my grandparents. Well, it's not a Christmas dinner, but it's like a Christmas Italian tradition dinner. Um, it's like deep fried dough. And then my grandma also makes one that has like salami and like mozzarella and stuff in it. So we had that and then I had my girls Christmas party for work and then we were away. So needless to say, I went from, I'm bad at this, I went from 174 point something. I'll post it right here, but I gained like 1.5 this past week. So on Thursday I weighed in and I gained, um, which would be yesterday. Yeah, and then this morning I weighed in and I'm back down to 174 point something. I'll post it here too. But I'm really, I was really frustrated, but you know what? I'm getting back on track. I did change my zero point foods. I had like eggs, popcorn, corn, beans, lentils, uh, chicken breast, you name it. I had everything but avocado, I think, and like um, potatoes and whole wheat stuff. So I changed it just to eggs. Um, I just want to track everything. I like the the fact that I can have more zero point foods when I'm like going out for dinners. Um, so for instance, this week I have two dinners again and I was like, well, I'm just gonna eat zero point foods in the morning, but I just wanna kind of track everything I eat. Um, Sunday I know we're having Chinese food and we'll see how that goes. But anyways, this is getting to be a very long intro. Um, today for lunch, I'm going to my grandparents' house. So I'm gonna pack my own light Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm gonna grab that and show you what I use because if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. This, don't mind my messy kitchen, I need to clean it. This is the light Hidden Valley Ranch that I use. Ooh, that glare. Um, it is one tablespoon for one point, so I really like it. It's the closest thing to ranch. And then, I don't have time for breakfast this morning, but I'm gonna take this uh, dill. They're just pre-boiled eggs, guys. I'm lazy sometimes, so it is dill flavored. I love anything dill flavored, so. Um, I'll just take this if I get hungry at work. I'll have that so that's zero points I'm gonna drink my water yesterday. I was really good at drinking water. So that's awesome If you guys want to see what I eat today, just stay tuned I'm not gonna ramble anymore. I promise hopefully, but I'm gonna head to work I'll see you guys probably after work because I won't be able to film at my grandparents, but we'll see you then All right guys, I'm sitting down for a quick snack before dinner. Um, I'm talking to my husband on FaceTime, so I'll be late with that. Um, and I just wanted something to tie me over until dinner time. So I'm having some veggies and this delicious hummus. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to go and get it. I found it at my local Safeway um, here in Canada. It is a dill pickle hummus and I am obsessed with it and I'm obsessed with dill pickles. So I bought another one. They also have a salt and vinegar one that I bought, but I'll try that a different day. So it's two points for the hummus. I probably have a little over one cup of veggies, but that's okay. I'll just count uh, one point back for the veggies. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this snack. I cannot wait. I am seriously, I just love this hummus. So I've been looking forward to this snack all day. I just day. finished talking with my husband. I'm going to do a deep condition on my hair. It really needs it. I can't remember the last time I did one. I think it was been like two months um i should probably go for a haircut but i hardly go for haircuts i don't use heat on my hair anymore um and i use like sulfate free um paraben free hair stuff now and i just feel like it's really helped my hair i'm going to show you guys the deep conditioner i use and then i might as well just show you what i use um 
like for my shampoo, conditioner, and everything else. Excuse the mess in the background, but I need to clean my house. So I'm gonna grab that um, and show you. I was gonna show you guys in my bathroom, but there's a fan and it's just really loud. So um, I thought I would just come out here and show you what I've been using. Um, I use the brand Maria Nila. Um, this one is the Head and Heat head and hair heel shampoo um i love it it just really helps with like dry scalp and everything <laughs> my bedroom's messy um and then i use the true soft conditioner by the same brand i just use the same brand for everything my deep condition that i'll be using tonight is the eco therapy revive hair mask um i really like that as well and then for my dry shampoo is the invisa dry shampoo can't really see that and then hairspray is the finishing spray. Am I the only one that loses caps on everything? Like I need to start keeping them because when I go away, like I'll pack it and I won't have the cap for anything. And the last thing is the True Soft Aragon Oil Softening Hair Oil. The brand is a little bit expensive, um, but I'm fine with that because I know I'm getting good quality. Um, and I also, have my discount because I took the hairdressing course so I don't pay as much as somebody would in like a salon so I can't remember how much like these were but they are I think they're a liter are they they're a thousand milliliters so is that a liter I don't know um I can't remember I got them on sale but they were like 70 bucks for both of them um the dry shampoo is like 22 dollars the Aragon oil is usually on sale for like 16 and then like the hairspray is 22 not 22, but 20 as well. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you guys that. And another thing I just wanted to mention, I use my, it's really dirty right now, but I use my wet brush um, when I brush my hair. And then when I have wet hair, I do not use my wet brush. I use my wet comb. Um, it's the same brand. It's like the wet brush brand, but it's just like a comb because I found I was just combing my hair when it was wet and I just kept breaking. So I've really noticed a huge difference by doing that. So anyways, I'm going to do my deep um, condition. I'm probably going to have dinner while that sits because I'm starving. So we'll see you guys back for dinner. All right, guys, my deep conditioner is in. I also forgot to mention that I don't do the deep condition on my roots just because I feel like it's very heavy and sometimes it can get a little bit greasy um, when I wash it out. So what I do is I just put it in a high ponytail and then from like the ponytail on is where I put the deep condition. So anyways, I'm probably gonna have this in for like an hour, an hour and a half. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I use for my, um, grilled cheese sandwiches. I lost the word there um, because I'm I haven't had very many points today like we're gonna recap quickly so my eggs this morning were zero I counted my um, salad as five points because I used maybe three tablespoons or three points worth of my light ranch and then in there there was like not even two points worth of chicken breast probably so five points um and then my hummus put me at seven points um i also did forget to mention that i had a granny smith or half of a granny smith apple at work so um right now i'm sitting at seven points um so here is what i use i use the villaggio artisano styled white bread um, because I have so many points tonight, I'm going to make two grilled cheese sandwiches and I don't know, I just find that works for me. So, um, if I have the points, I'm going to use it. I had a very light lunch. So, um, two of these is five points, but once you go up to four slices, it's nine points. So it works in your favor. I used to have, um, a, the sesame villaggio bread and it was only four points on the old system, but it went up. So, um, anyways, I use a little bit of this light butter. You can't really see it. Sorry. <laughs> um, I use a little bit of this. It's only one point for that. And then I use the black diamond cheddar slices. You can have, I think four, up to four for three points. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put it right here, but I'm pretty sure it's four for three points. Um, and then to add a little bit of flavor, I use the roasted garlic um, a Oli mix by Epicure and I put it like on the buttered side of my bread and it just adds a little bit more flavor. So um, if I'm correct on the points, it will equal 13 points. So I'll only be at 20 points for the day. 
Um, I did earn points for my, how many times can I say points in this sentence? I did earn back some points um, for my veggies. So lunch I earned back two points and then my snack before dinner was one point. So like I earned back, so I have three extra points for the day if I wanna use it, but I'm probably not gonna use them. So I am starving, so I'm gonna cook my grilled cheese sandwiches. I remembered it this time. Um, so we will see you guys back probably for snack time. Right, guys, so I had a shower a little bit ago. Um, I think I left the deep condition in for like a half an hour to 45 minutes, I'm not too sure. I was just too impatient. I'm like, I just need to go have a shower because I hate going to bed with wet hair. But anyways, I'm sitting down. Um, I'm gonna start editing here soon. Um, it's freezing in my house, so I have a blankie on, but I'm only sitting at 20 points and I wanted to save enough points for this tonight. Um, I'm gonna have a coconut brownie chunk built bar. I'm pretty sure these are four points on the new plan. They've changed the formula um, a couple times on these, but their most recent one is four points. Look at those chunks of um, brownie. I'm pretty sure they still have these on their website to buy, which I'm surprised. Um, and then they also have eggnog right now, which I haven't tried. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna order them or not. And then they have caramel macchiato, and they have some puffs left on their website as well. Um, I do have a 10% off code, so if you guys are interested in ordering them, um, I will leave that down below. I was gonna warm this up, but I'm too lazy and I just want to enjoy this right now. So I'm gonna bite into it and show you what it looks like inside. I don't know if you can see that. So good. I just love the flavor of it. There's a subtle hint of coconut and then you have those um, brownie chunks on top. So good. Um, I'm sitting at 24 out of 26 points. I don't think I told you guys in the beginning of the video that I get 26 points now because the only zero point food item I have is eggs. So 24 out of 26, technically um, because I gained probably three points from my veggies and one point for water, I'm only at 20 points, but I'm trying not to eat those points if I don't need them. So anyways, today was a really good day. I'm really happy. Um, my water intake was really good. I stayed on track. I feel very satisfied in what I ate today and I think that's really important in a journey. Um, I wanted two grilled cheese sandwiches and I had two grilled cheese sandwiches. You can still have the things you love on WW and that's why I really enjoy the program and I really, I don't know. I just think that I'm gonna be on WW for quite some time because I just love how I can have what I want in moderation. Tomorrow we're going out for dinner or appies at my sister-in-law's um, parents' house. So I'm hoping I can stay on track. I'm gonna have like a low point lunch and breakfast um, and then see where we go from there. I, I don't know, I'm hoping to get a blue dot, but I don't know if I can or if I will. Um, I do have three rollovers so far, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I just know that I am trying to, I'm just trying to do this. I'm trying to get back on track. And I know during the holidays, I'll have some days that will be better than others. But the way I see it is for me, I was gonna wait till January 1st or whatever. But for me, what I want to do is try and get in some good days where I can and then like have a couple days where I'm a little bit off track. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your day went and also let me know down below if there's any videos you wanna see. I truly appreciate you guys' support. It is, it's awesome to see that, you know, you're still sticking with me even though I've been off and on, but I do truly appreciate it. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.